Hey guys, what's up? It's Alex over at Monroe Laser Engraving, and today I'm gonna to be showing you what Brilliance Laser Inks can actually do. We'll be marking these stainless steel beer cups, and we're gonna get a really nice black mark on them uh, just using the CO2 laser. No fiber today, though you can use Brilliance Laser Inks with a fiber laser, and we'll cover that in another video. Uh, but what it can do with the CO2 alone is really impressive. So for you CO2 guys, this is gonna be a video that you're gonna to wanna to check out. A few notes about this setup here. I am using a standard rotary tool for CO2 lasers. So that's wired in to uh, use the Y axis here instead of the gantry. Um, so nothing fancy here, just a, a regular rotary tool. You do not need to use this on a rotary tool. It works on anything, uh, even flat metals uh, and everything from aluminum to copper and brass uh, and more. So um, that's one of the things that makes Brilliance uh, one of the, the better uh, Ceramark type companies. Uh, also, if you're just getting started with Brilliance, I definitely recommend using a test cup like this where you can test out different settings. Uh, we're catching a bit of a reflection there, but um, you know, somewhere around the 330 area um, is working really well for my laser. My laser is a 100 watt laser, so your settings might be a little different, but you can go ahead and use the power converter calculator, which I will throw a card up right here for you. Um, and that calculator is gonna be able to get you pretty close with your machine, though I still definitely recommend doing a, a test cup like this, just to make sure that you've got your power settings right where they need to be for this. So like I mentioned before the intro, we are working with Brilliance Laser Inks today and this stuff is really great and I'll show you guys how to use it. First thing you need to do is spray. So uh, you're just gonna wanna hold your uh, metal object, um, in this case it's steel, probably six to 12 inches away. You just wanna give it a nice even spray. Uh, I give it kind of two quick coats here and um, that's really all you need. You don't need to cake it on. Um, if you still see a little bit of the silver metallic surface, uh, underneath the uh, laser ink it's it's gonna be fine that's gonna work just great for for what we need I'll also show you this is what it looks like when it's dry laser ink has to dry completely before you put it under the machine so just make sure it looks like the one on the right before you go ahead and uh, insert that into the machine quick tip on the centering here you can use something reflective to line a logo up on the underside if the customer wants the logo on the back and you're marking the front with everything set up, we're just going to go ahead and let this run, so uh, enjoy the show. So after we've run the job, we're just going to come over here and grab one that we've finished, and we're just going to run that under some water, and you just wipe it away. It's that easy. You don't have to do any scrubbing, you don't have to do any... Uh, any kind of weird stuff or use any chemicals to get this off. It's just going to melt away uh, under that running water. You want to make sure you get it all off. Uh, make sure you advise your customers to wash these again before use uh, because you're definitely not going to get it all. Um, running it through the dishwasher is definitely the, uh, the go-to move once you get these home. So uh, you just want to pass it along to your customers because this is not stuff that you want to drink. I did just want to show you too real quick that this is a permanent mark so you can go ahead and you can scrub this as hard as you want. If doing this takes off your laser inks you need to adjust your setting. Uh, it should not come off uh, even with a rough scrub on the Brillo pad. You can see there we've still got that nice black mark on the mug. Uh, it's not coming off so um, that is definitely what you want uh, to, to be getting. The final step here is just to grab one of these cheesecloths and give it a quick dry. And that's looking really nice right there. That's exactly what you want to end up with. I'll also just mention I do like these cheesecloths for drying better than the standard microfiber cloth. And that's just because the microfiber cloths take so long to dry. Uh, these cheesecloths dry out in like, I mean, a minute, seriously, they're dry again. So when you're dealing with a lot of water, you really can't beat these. And I'll add these down to the uh, kit link in the description below so that you can pick some up if you need them. 
just a quick side note for you guys if you're interested in the science of how brilliance laser inks works and you want a more in-depth overview of how it reacts with different materials and uh, some different settings for other materials like brass and copper check out my friend michael's video over at laser engraving 911 i'm going to put a link to it right here for you uh, michael does a great job explaining that all and gets really down and dirty uh, into the nitty-gritty on how all this stuff is working so if you want to check that out and learn more about lasers check out my buddy michael's channel um, because he really knows his stuff and we've been working together for a really long time thank you guys so much for watching if you want to check out brilliance uh, you can do so with the link in the description not only do you save 10 percent with the discount code but it also helps support the channel so if you decide to make a purchase with that link i really do appreciate it i hope brilliance laser rings can help you guys out i've tried all of the alternatives uh, LBT and Ceramark and they're just so much more expensive and this works just as well if not better so I hope that uh, this really can can help you guys out when you're trying to mark big pieces of metal you can also support the channel by using one of the affiliate links that we have linked down in the description below uh, you can check out the Adobe Illustrator setup so um, that link will take you to Adobe's website where you can get started with Adobe Photoshop and Illustrator which are great for setting up vectors and uh, image files for your lasers to use um, there's also a new consolidated link to all of the gear that I use in my shop and I'm adding to it regularly so check it pretty often if you want to see uh, the most up-to-date stuff that we're using here around the shop because um, it's gotten really long in the description and I wanted to just condense it all into into one place so uh, kit.co is helping out with that and uh, you can find everything that we use in the shop right there finally we have the patreon we're getting new patrons and uh, i'm really excited to have you guys on board if you're one of our new patrons uh, if you're not already a patron consider subscribing uh, it's only a couple bucks a month and it helps the channel grow and it'll allow me to get new things for you guys to check out on the channel well that's all i got for today guys leave a comment down below if you want to see something specific i'm happy to take requests otherwise we'll catch you in the next episode thanks so much for watching we'll see you later